would you please welcome an old friend, Stephen Walsh and Elder Roach and accompaniment. I think you can do better than that. Steve Walsh, Elder Roach! How are you women and men? Uh, this little bit is uh, something something I wrote a good few times because it happens to be true and uh, I asked Elder to accompany me there uh, on the piano. We we haven't rehearsed this or anything. I'm just going to give him a minute to get set up on the the keyboard there. All right, I'll fire ahead. Uh, in the kingdom of my mind, I live in a ditch. I burned down the big house a long time ago. Reasons. Yeah. Yeah, reasons. But they burned along with everything else. So there I was, sitting in the ditch, one evening in revenge season. Stewing my supper over a smouldering sheaf of distant memories and a scraggledy scroll landed on a scramble of scree. Told me I was wanted in the job, so I kicked some dirt over the re-members and I headed into the job. Uh, long and the short of it, I, I won't bore you. I was, getting, I was getting a sack from the fuck factory for constantly, consistently refusing promotion. <laughs> they wanted to make me supervisor. Well, fuck that. <laughs> so I sat down. The shit supervisor gave me the usual belly load of shit. You've been with us now for wah, 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 wah. I drifted off. I drifted right out the window and into the makings of a fairly fucking decent storm with a fist of crayons. I wandered around in the sky for a while, scratching at the dying light, considering my options. The dying light was like a bumper coloring book of possibilities. I liked it. I got tired, wandered over to an old ancient oak that had every right to let its old bones creak and groan, but gave him no leave to as it knew a little something about disturbing storms not meaning to flatter myself I settled down I had a snooze I woke up once with thunder in the belly and fog in the head and well piss in the bladder I needed to relieve myself I stumbled over a little heap of gorse and I pissed the flash flood onto an astounded field of insomniac winter barley <laughs> went back to the tree Went back to sleep. Oxo, cubic. <laughs> I lay down and I dreamed and I dreamed and I dreamed and I dreamed of s insects. <laughs> By the tens of thousands, ways to kill, ways to die. I dreamed of a storm I once knew that had passed on. I dreamed of northern lights and I dreamed of hunger. And the hunger in the gut rot the dreams in the head until they crumble into consciousness. Stood up and had a good stretch. I'm not finished with you yet, said the shift manager. Look. Fuck. <laughs> I'm fucking starving here and you're boring the living shit out of me. I'm going down to the canteen. I'm going to get a sandwich or some shit like that. I don't know. I'm going to fuck off, okay? I went down to the canteen. I ordered a plate of liver and onions, egg and chips, pint of milk. Food came. I ate it. I was still hungry. Back to the counter. Same again if you don't mind. Well, I got a look. I got another look. Food came, I sat down and I ate it in a forest of silent trees falling. An old man that might have been me sat down opposite me. He was eating tomato soup. He was eating it like he was comforting a small child he didn't know too well. <laughs> it's a great day, isn't it? He asked. Well, you know, I presumed that our oppressors had finally left town in a flurry of flags, and cheering, children. Isn't it? He asked me deferentially, and well, then I suspected that he suspected that I was one of them, the oppressors, staying behind on the sly. He continued souping, darting glances from it to me, to it to me, to it to me, as if to say, please, take it away from me, I'm sorry. And I was vaguely aware of the yawning revenge bell in the ruins of the church in my hat. Look, sorry, bud. I'd like to help you, but it's out of my fucking hands. Finish your soup. Thank you.